Hey people, Aziz Army here, and today I want to bring you another quick Demon Souls remake video, this time covering off the Pure Black World Tenancy events. So this will cover off all the NPC invaders, it will cover off all the primeval demons, and it will also bring our character to pure white tendency. So with that in mind, there's, there's few rules that we need to cover off. Obviously, first of all, with the pure white character tendency, if you do want the ring that you get for that from the monumental, you need to do this before you take on the false king. So just to get that out of the way with uh, first, <laughs> otherwise you've already gone too far if you want that ring. Um, so obviously, first of, first of all, with the, the pure black tendencies, all you have to do is go into each of the worlds, kill yourself multiple times in body form, until your symbol changes to black but also with the little red glowing dots um, if they're not there you're not quite there yet with your pure black tendency once you've done that this is also the ideal time to farm any materials because the in drop rates are actually re increased while you're in pure black wheel tendency um, so your pure blade stones uh, your gold coins anything like that do that now once you're happy that you've got everything you're set to go back up your save. Uh, now the reason for that is the only way to basically keep your pure black world tendency is to go from either the NPC invader to the primeval demons or, the, or vice versa um, to get all the way there without fast traveling, without dying um, or returning to the nexus because as soon as you refresh the world um, it'll actually drag your will tendency all the way back up to neutral because um, killing an NPC invader or primeval demon actually has a massive impact on will tendency. So what I would do is once you're ready to go back up your save and then these NPCs are no joke. So once you've cleared one world what you might want to do then is back up again <laughs> then move on to the next world back up again move on to the next world because trust me at least one of these NPC invaders will kill you um, so with that being said let's make a start in Boletaria this one is the probably the quickest NPC invader to get to actually no I'm saying saying that that's definitely not the case The, uh, because in uh, the Shrine of Storms, you get literally charged at the moment that you enter the area. What I'd say with the enemies is we are going to try and um, avoid as many of the enemies as possible. But if you think the enemies are going to uh, cause you any issue, like these guys here, then take the time to take them out. Um, the last thing you want to do is have a run messed up just because um, someone has killed you when you could have potentially just taken them out. I'm actually in body form at the moment, so if I killed one of these invaders, my will tendency, uh, so if I died to one of them, uh, um, then my will tendency wouldn't be dragged as bad. but it would still be annoying because I would then have to go and kill myself and use the items to do it. Um, and they're not exactly an easy item to come across. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just be very careful with these enemies. They, they are vicious. If you can get a bad stab, they're brilliant. Oh. Bye bye. Okay, yeah, so these guys should all. Um, drop items for you as well. So she drops the guillotine axe. So now is the run. Um, 
So, as I said, the most important thing here is just not to die on the way, so um, you can use a, a Thief Ring, or you can use the Cloak Spell. Um, the Cloak Spell, I think, is apparently a little bit better, or at least it was in the original version. Um, and also, it frees up a, a Ring Slot by not using the Thief Ring. The more things you've got going on your side, the better. Uh, what Cloak and the Thief Ring do is um, they don't make you undetectable. Um, like some of the items in the other games, they just mean that it takes them a lot longer to register you. Um, so you have to be a lot closer on their radar to pick you up. So the likelihood is, once the time you've, you've approached them, um, you're already on the way past before they, they've got enough time to react and attack you. But uh, as I said, don't be afraid to um, slow down, pick people off with a bow, whatever you need to do, because some of these areas are going to be very tricky. can also um, obviously hold um, the button to guard while you are running for a bit of extra protection, but most of the time rolling is going to be your best bet. Oops. It doesn't make you invisible, they can still uh, lock onto you and attack you once they know you're there. reapply. So this is a good example, there's three of them, they're in our way. Let's just bonk them out of the way and be done with it. Okay, so unlike um, the NPC invader, the primeval demon doesn't really uh, pose any threat to us. Um, We just need to be able to smack it without being killed on the way. Um, okay. What I'd also like to say as well, actually, while we're, we're doing this run, is um, you may notice that the, the symbol in the top left corner of my screen has gone uh, whiter already. So that's actually the character tendency. So unlike um, world tendency, um, unlike world tendency, um, then character tendency just change immediately. So just killing that one NPC invader has pushed us uh, quite far towards white world tendency, uh, white character tendency. Sorry. And the reason you uh, take out the primary demon is for those colourless demon souls. One of the rarest items in the game. Um, you can only get it from um, either doing the Metastopheles questline or killing them or trading with the crows. Um, they're just not uh, a common item at all in the game. <laughs> It doesn't really matter if you die now. So, if, for example, if we go somewhere where it's just a really long way back to any, anywhere, uh, then you may just think, oh, bugger it, I'll just die now. <laughs> uh, so, what we do then is, uh, once we've taken out the NPC, we've taken out the primeval demon, uh, we just skip uh, to the next area which for us will be Stonefang Tunnel. Uh, and then before you take on this area, we go ahead and back up our save. 
Okay, so now that our save is backed up, we're ready to continue with this world. Um, now, this one is slightly different, because what I would suggest is with all the worlds, um, is to go for the NPC invader first, because they're the most likely to kill you. However, with Stonefang Tunnel, um, the, uh, the most optimal route um, is to actually go for the primeval demon first. Um, because the NPC invader is on um, a bit of a, a platform which you can only get to by dropping down from um, from the armored spider boss fight. Um, so you could go there first and then try and go a very long way back around to do this. Um, but, but to be honest, it's just uh, it's not worth it. So if, if any if any world that you um, if there's any world that you think. Um, actually, I'll just kill myself a few more times, rather than having to run all the way back, then this is probably going to be the one. In all the other worlds, the, the routes are, are quite viable, um, like they make sense. The Latria one is quite long, um, although, you know, the route to the NPC and to um, to the primeval demon, there's not much difference in, in routes that you take, so you know it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, the NPCs are um, the most threatening thing, the most thing that's likely to kill you, so get rid of those first. It's just it just doesn't work in this world. So we kill that guy, then we run to this uh, elevator shortcut. And now it's going to be a bit of a trek, so we need to get to the Armoured Spider lift. Uh, and then make our way down that drop. The drop and the, the location of the NPC are very easy to get to. the NPC himself, he's not going to be easy. Uh, between here and the NPC there's actually not that much um, of a challenge in terms of the enemies you're going to have to get past. There's this guy but we don't really need to take him on at all. these guys. The only thing is you'll probably find with this route is once you've taken on the armored spider you never use this lift again. Uh, you probably have to crank it up. Oh he's coming. Will the crazy red miner reach us before the lifters? Find out in the next episode. Ah! Okay. Is he coming? No, he de aggroed. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, as I said, pretty straightforward route. If we had gone um, to this guy first, we would have to travel to this arch stone drop down to him and make our way all the way through the tunnels um, yeah back up in a different lift it just would not have been fun keep forgetting about that like I said it just gives you that extra time to get past the enemies so they're not on your ass before you even made it to them uh, so you just go back here onto this ledge, drop down again, and again. Huh. Right, okay, let's see what you got for us, mate. Right, he's buffing. 
fire. Can we just instantly stun lock him? God, life. Wow. Okay. Power of <laughs> full health grass saved us then. Oh, that is strong. Oh, parry! Well, that was rough. Him for pancake. Oh, hesitated. Oh, that was a bad trade. Oh, healed. Tricky customer. Pyromancy face. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna be starting. Oh, is he running out of magic? He is running out of magic. Oh, I think this is the end of you, mate. to outlast you. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't start taking him uh, taking him lightly. <laughs> okay, what does he drop for us? So he actually drops the beast talisman, uh, which is pretty damn good. Uh, you do need 18 magic and faith though to wield it. Okie doke. Uh, so again, you could just jump off here if you really wanted to. Uh, or you could just roll down. It doesn't take long at all. Just literally a few ledges. Because we're already most of the way down. Oh, you could just die! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Right. On to Latria. Okay, so we were two worlds down. Time to back up once again. Okay, so we're all backed up. Uh, and now it's time to tackle Latria. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is one of the longest runs that we're going to have to do. Uh, but there's not really any better way to do it, to be fair. So we've got to get all the way to the floor, just below the bottom floor. Uh, to take on the invader. Uh, and then we have to um, do quite a long run uh, to get to the swamp area. So uh, this is going to be uh, Rydell, I think it is, the guy who you hear screaming. <laughs> so, you know, you might be glad to do this one. Okay, so we need to make all the way, our way all the way down here. You know you're nearly there when you've got these two gates, which were locked um, until much later in the game. So then you get this one, that's to the bottom floor. But we want to take this floor here. Right, we're going to make the most of this. Ah, God damn it. So I was going to say, make the most of the fact that we're close. But uh, this guy's got different ideas. This is the prob 
problem with having a great sword. Is it bounces up off absolutely everything. Okay. So here he is. Pole man. He looks like he's got quite a bit of health. That's not really anything different from the other ones where you were faced. Making the game into a uh, pancake stun lock though, but look. Oh, he's got that little iron thing that he punches you with, I forgot about that. Yeah. Least challenging of the uh, NPC invaders so far. And yeah, he drops his pull. So, there we go. And you can see now, so three NPC invaders and we've just turned to pure white character tendency. So we're now able to go and see the monumental and get the friend ring. Uh, we will save that for the end though. Try not to get caught on that guy. Watch out for the, uh, the Black Phantom Mind Flailer. Um, there's not going to be anything like in terms of challenges with the enemies that we've got coming up now with a run all the way there. Um, The only um, annoying thing really is potentially falling off the ledges and, and obviously this is a Souls game so you know the likelihood of that hood of that happening is quite high so let's just have our fingers crossed all we need to do now is just run to the altar and this will transport us where we need to go it's just a shame that the they could have put a shortcut in here, um, in the original I think, to be honest, because you have all those cages that come up from the swamp, they could have made one that came back up to the start as a bit of a shortcut, c considering how big this area is, um, but they didn't do it, so we've got a bit of a fun run to take care of here. But we've got our cloak on. It won't be too bad. There's not really any challenging enemies as such. There's actually um, an extra enemy, uh, sorry, an extra item in Secure Black Wheel Tendency. Uh, and this is the, I think it's the only uh, wheel that has this. So I'll show you that as well, because this does go towards your trophy for getting all the rings. Um, in fact, all three of the uh, deluxe DLC rings, as they were, um, are available in the game, uh, and they do count towards um, the, the trophy for all the rings. Um, they're just quite tricky to get. So let's see. We've got this one. I should have put the look on. Yeah, you got the, the one in this world, and then um, the crows actually trade you the other ones. So, one, you have to tr trade a pure bladestone, which is lucky that um, they sorted out the drop rate in this game for that. Otherwise, <laughs> you just people just wouldn't have wanted to give that item up. Um, and then the gold coin as well. Uh, and that'll give you uh, the other two DLC rings. ourselves cloaked as much as possible. Just need to get to the cages now. There we go.
So we want to head to the right here. Um, yeah, definitely the right. Just making sure of myself then. Um, so yeah, past all these uh, big guys. Keep going around. You'll know when you're there because you'll see um, this ramp in the distance. Here it is. And obviously the big primeval demon. So one last cloak. Smack this guy. Okay, like I said, this area is not that bad at all. It's just the length of it. And then what you want to do is actually just circle round to the right. Uh, you'll know when you found the area with a ring because it'll have another one of those ball enemies um, that shoot magic and just flail at you. Here it is. And here is the sodden ring, and that's going to become very handy uh, in the next world we have to do. So uh, there's not really any quick way back out of here, so we're just going to let this guy kill us. You died. Okay, so on to the Shrine of Storms. I'm actually going to cut here and back up here because as soon as you enter the Shrine of Storms, you will immediately get attacked by this NPC coming up. Um, he can one-shot you. He's tricky. Um, so this is likely to be a fun one. Uh, so we'll back up again and then continue. Okay, so we're all backed up now, ready to go. Um, and as I said, we just have to be prepared now because this guy is just going to run at us straight away. I don't think he has as much health, um, but he can kill you in one hit. Uh, so wish me luck. Here he comes. Here we go. Heal them. Oh, nearly got me again. I have my buddy, uh... Catalyst out into my shield. I gotta be careful not to go too f close to the top as well, otherwise we'll aggro the skeleton. Right, we might be able to just stun lock him here. Oh sh there we go. Like you saw there, like, the one attack he did basically took all our health, so he's not to be trifled with. And this is with the cling ring on as well. Okay, so the plan here is this area is a nightmare, um, so we're just going to slowly take out some of these skeletons uh, and then uh, make our way then. Okay, that's actually not like that good, the, uh, the holy arrows, I thought they would do more damage. I don't know if this is a bug as well, but when you're in the cloaked mode, the um, sound effects just don't seem to work properly. I don't know if that's intended because you're cloaked, but it doesn't feel that way because some of the sound effects kick in and some don't. Last two guys. Can we push them? Yeah, 
uh, that can get you killed in uh, many a Souls game. Accidentally push it and an enemy instead of attacking. Okay. So we're gonna cloak here because we've got the manta rays to attend with as well as the skeletons. The distance of the run in this area is actually not too bad. It's just the enemies are also deadly. We've also got traps as well. Okay, so we want to get to this corner over here. See the masteries are already attacking. Yeah, so like this but area is bad enough as it is, and then they've added in these extra black phantoms as well. Just to you know, spice it out. That was an ADF. Okay. We've got a dual katana guy here. We are gonna take this guy out because he's just gonna chase us otherwise. Not going to be helpful. I'm going to get my bow out now as well because I don't want the enemies coming up to be chasing us either. Because we have one more dual katana guy to kill, and he's stronger because he's the one that drops the pure blade stones. So. I think it's about three arrows. That's him down. This is a great spot to um, farm in. As I mentioned in a previous video, you can kill that guy within seconds and just do that over and over again. You can also work it into your pure bladestone farming. So you could um, effectively kill that guy, jump down, get the bladestone, um, or go for the bladestone and then jump off. Um, and then just keep doing that on repeat until you've got enough souls built up and you've, or you finally got the bladestone. So that jump is what you want. Okay, and then if we follow the path, uh, I am going to actually apply cloak again. Because we don't want to be a pincushion. There's also one of these guys here. Oh. He'll give you a pure moon sh uh, shade stone. And um, we've got another colorless demon soul. Okay, so that's this area a done. Just grab this on the way because this actually takes us directly um, to where we need to go, which is back to the Archstone. And we are ready for the final world. So we're going to be going to the Archstone before the last and running back on ourselves this time. Uh, once again, we have got a tricky NPC coming up, so I'm going to back up again uh, one final time, and uh, then this should be it. So uh, I shall see you in a second. Okay, so what should now be the final time? We are all backed up and ready to go. So now we need to run backwards out of this boss room, um, and we need to get to the NPC. As I said, this is going to be a tricky one coming up um, because of the weapon that the NPC uses. Because that weapon, the weapon that they drop for you, which is great because they drop it for you, actually goes through your shield. You can't, there's no way to block. Um, you have to roll it. Just 
remember now. I don't think I have anything on me that protects against poison. ramp that you want. Okay, so from here you can see where the primeval demon is. You can also see where these guys are. We don't want to deal with these guys. So we're going to run out to our left. And then run back in again. ourselves cloaked. What I'm also going to do here is I'm going to equip our um, brand new ring. Now this does mean that we'll have to take a bit of equipment off. What it also means is we can actually roll in this fight. So we may not be able to block, but now we've got that root new ring, we can roll at least. I wish I had something on me to cure poison, but I don't. So. She's just blocked our spell casting. So if you wanted to use magic against her, then you just lost your opportunity. But make sure we don't let her heal here. Again, another uh, squishy phantom, um, but with the potential to really hurt you. So, let's just switch back up to our equipment. And also make sure that we don't die to bloody poison here as well. <coughs> Cloak it up, heal it up. Again, we're going to take a very wide berth on those three giant enemies because they will mess us up big time. You know, it's bad enough when there was just the two of them, but now there's a red phantom one as well, so we just don't want to mess with that. And the, uh, the little aggro guy as well. He's no fun either. He's like all buffed up with that green stuff. By the power of poison I slay you. Ooh, nearly got spotted then. These guys don't actually react that fast to be fair. Like they'll kind of turn around and look at you if they, they spot you. Okay, you may want to take these guys out. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, and that doesn't really do, doesn't really do any damage to you, but it's just annoying. Okie doke. Come here, boy. Time to go to sleep.
And there we have it. The final colourless demon soul. So all that's left now is for us to uh, make our way back to the Nexus and we can pick up that ring. So this run it actually isn't too bad to be fair because we can just pop into the water again. Stick on this ring as well to make it a little bit quicker. I hate you. Oh, we died. <laughs> Never mind. Forgot about the poison. Okay, anyway. That sped things up for us. We don't. I'm not too worried about those souls. I always forget with this game as well that um, you can now just click left and right to go to the item that you want to to go to the different item slot. Okay, so let's go and take a trip and see the monumental and we can get our friend ring uh, this is gonna be a hell of a track not gonna lie to you Where are you, Monumental? Is it on this floor? Is it one down? No, he's here. Take this. It will be of help to you on your quest. The Allies Ring. I thought it was used to be called the Friends Ring, but hey ho. Okay. Well, that about covers it. So that is all the Black World Tenancy events. We got pure white character tendency, um, and we got that ring as well on the back of that. You can see as well. So this is how much your world get world get altered back. Um, so obviously you see on the one archstone where we were in human form, we died. It's not as high, but it's it's pretty much built this back to almost pure white will tendency so that is why it's so key to do those backups because if you kill one of them you're going to be halfway there and you have to do a load more deaths and spend a load more items we can finally see our character as well as in pure white will tendency um and yeah that that pretty much wraps it up that's everything um we've done all pure white all pure black um we've done a pure white character the only thing that is left before completing the game is pure black uh, character tendency so I may do a little video just to uh, cover that off might be a bit mean but uh, I hope you enjoy this one uh, hit that like button if you did and I'll catch you in the next one